Oh, hi guys, this is Mr. Rego, and, and this is Mr. Rego's face. You've probably seen it on my channel already. Um, but again, I just want to make sure that I address a couple of things. Uh, now that you have studied a lot and you've done many things, um, so um, these are the things that probably uh, can affect or benefit on your end, on your test, 30, 40%, I believe. Okay, so we're going to go over a few things. Um, that I, I went through all, take, uh, took a lot of notes and I put it together here. So let's see how, how it goes. So again, you got this, you started for the test, um, you've reviewed many videos, you, you, you've done a lot of things, guys. So now you deserve to pass the test. But these are the things that you have to be aware. So let, let's go one at a time. Before the test, days before the test, and our uh, EOC exam is on Monday. So we have a couple of days to, to, to be until that. Is study, study, study as much as you can. Okay, study as much as you can. All right, before test before. Now, if you're reviewing and you're studying, do not get overwhelmed, guys. If you get you know a problem that you really don't get, that's fine. Move on. It's okay. We don't need to get every single question. Okay, we don't need to get every single question. Not even to get a five in our test. All right, so don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed. Uh, skip those questions, okay? And solve another ones, something that is more easier for you, feel better, okay? The idea is to get your confidence back. It's everything about the confidence level on your mind. So keep reviewing, check the video solutions, like the same thing that you've been doing uh, to those questions, not so you can feel better about them, okay? It's about being confident and keeping your confidence level high. That's the whole thing. Uh, it doesn't matter, uh, so let, let's read this. It's about being confident in what we know. What do I mean by that? Let's pretend that you study, I don't know, for a month. That's great. Oh, but let's say you only study for two weeks, so don't feel bad. Oh, I shouldn't start. I didn't study as much as he did or as she did. It doesn't matter. The idea is to be confident in whatever you have, okay? Uh, let me give you an example. Let's pretend that we're in kindergarten, right? And then we need to learn from 1 to 10 for a test. But we only learn from 1 to 6. But we know from 1 to 6. Not from 1 to 10, but it's going to be from 1 to 10. Do you think we pass if we do those six questions right? If we give the teacher 1 to 6? Yes, we do. So the same idea about our EOC, about any AP exam. You don't need to know the whole thing for you to pass. Okay, and also if you are able only to learn from one to six for whatever your test is, be confident about those six questions, about those six topics. Okay, that will be enough to put you in the other side of the test. All right, so be confident. Now let's talk about the night before the test. This is very important. All right, the topic that we just did, it was days before, all the way, all the way up to the night before. So now, not the night before the test huge huge very important why uh, my suggestion is stop starting around 8 or 9 p.m the night before maximum at that time do not study after this why you'll be tired for the following day there's people that keep going 10 11 12 1 a.m 2 a.m and they have to get up early for the test horrible idea okay you will be tired for the following day and if you're tired, your brain does not work properly, does not think 100%. And we don't want that. We want to have our brains, you know, cool, fresh, powerful. Okay? So <clears throat> I found some starting habits for some people when I was checking the stats for our, our, our channel. So I can see the stats. I don't see the names, but I see the stats. Guess what? I was going over the stats to see, you know, over the times that people mostly study. And I found out that throughout the day people study, they check the videos and all this stuff. A lot of people are between 8 and 11. But guess what? 8 and 11, that's fine. Up to 11, that's fine. But other people are studying at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. You know, I saw a lot of views of some videos at that time. I think that's either too early or too late, depending if you are if you went to bed or not. So if you're starting at 1 a.m. or 3 a.m. and you never went to bed, that's too late. Definitely, you're tired at that point. And when you're tired, your brain at one point shuts down. 
there's no more learning. You can be going over stuff, but you're not learning. We don't want that. Okay, so please don't do it. Okay, especially the day before the exam. Do not make sure you do not uh, um, study till late before the exam. All right, make sure. If you're studying on a Friday or Saturday, you know, way before the exam, okay, you can sleep. Go ahead, you know, get up, go sleep, go, go, go work because you had the following day to sleep, okay? But guess what? You, you don't want to do that before the day of the exam. Okay, I hope this is clear, not before the exam. Okay, so what about now? Okay, I, I went up to eight or nine. And, but I'm all kind of stressed out because my, my, my test is tomorrow. I'm mean, all like, hype. Now what? First of all, you tell yourself that you're ready. Whatever you have on you, okay, whatever you study, you're ready. You have that. Okay, so you got to go on in, your, in the mirror and say, just, and say to yourself that you're ready, that you got this. You need to believe on your own words, okay? Believing in yourself is going to bring your stress level down. Okay, feel powerful. You study, you deserve to be relaxed. Okay, so don't be all stressed out. Don't try to study every single minute. Oh, hold on, maybe at 10. Hold on, maybe at 11. No, that's not going to help you for the following day. Okay, it's going to go the other way. Stop studying, relax. Okay, you got this. Now what? It's time to relax. Watch a movie, it makes you happy. Uh, play video games. Okay, that will take your mind out of the test. Listen to music. Mm, next one, read. Did I say read? Yes, believe it or not, there are many people that reading will make them happy, will make them relax. Props to you guys, okay? I want to be a reader, but I'm not a good reader, so I would like to one of these days. And then you relax, and you go to bed at the same time that you normally do. You want to stick to your routine. You don't want to do something different from your body, all right? You want to stick to the same routine that you always do, all right? Keep that in mind. All right, the following day. Now, the date of the test. Wake up early. You don't want to be late to school, okay? Why? Being late will make you feel, your day feel like you're rushing. You're catching up all the time. It will make you rush through the test. You don't want that. It's not good for you. Okay, you don't think clear when you're rushing, when you're trying to catch up. Oh, I got here. Oh, hold on. I need to sign in. Oh, hold on. No, it's not good for your body. It's not good for your brain. Okay, before you go to school, make sure you eat breakfast. A little, a lot, whatever you're used to. Keep the routine. Oh, you don't eat breakfast. Some of you don't. That's a mistake, guys. Quick question. Can a car run without gas? No, it's not going to move an inch. So guess what? Your body needs food. At least something. A little snack, a little granola bar, something, something. All right? So make sure you do it. The day of the test. Here we go. We got to school. All right. We're going to take the test. Do you think that, uh, well, actually, every test is long, guys. Every standardized test is long, two, three, four hours, depending on you. You got a five or four is longer. Uh, ESC is long, ESO long. Okay, so guess what? Will you get hungry? Yes. Tired? Yes. Cold? Yes. I'm in classroom right now. I'm cold already, but I'm gonna take my sweater. Oh, you see this? Oh, uh, I have a sweater. This is what you're gonna do. You have a sweater, you get cold, you put it on. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. So, will you get hungry? Yes, it's a very long test. So what you're gonna do is the following. You're gonna bring a granola bar or something small, you put it in your pocket, okay? When you get hungry, Mr. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Or you can ask them, can I eat this granola bar outside? Right, right now, remember, we are in, during COVID, so you need to keep your mask off all the time. So because of that, they're not going to give you a snack in the classroom. Why? Because you cannot take your mask off. So therefore, unfortunately, you're not able, they're not able to give you a snack even though it's a long test. Unfortunately for you guys, that's why I'm telling you, bring, bring a, a bar, something small in your, in your pocket. 
bottle of water. Can I step outside, drink a water? They're not going to say no. Can I go outside? Or over there, outside, you know, where there's nobody. If this bar come back in a minute. Or listen, simple as that. Can I go to the bathroom? On your way there, you look for a place, there's nobody. Eat the bar, quick, come back. This is quick. This is not, you know, empanadas or a full lunch. No. Something small and quick. With the small snack, your body will recharge with energy. And your body will... And now your body will not get distracted because you're hungry. Therefore, you're more concentrated on the test, which is a good thing. Okay, now, will you get tired? Of course. One thing, guys, is important. Make sure you finish the test before laying down on your desk. Don't be one of those people that are laying down on their desk after five minutes, 40 minutes, 40 questions, I'm sorry, in five minutes. Really? They already give up on the test. You'll never give up on the test. Never, guys. Never. Why? You study a whole year for this test, and now you're giving up on the test? Never. I feel bad about those kids, and I go over and say, guys, come on. Finish. Let's go. You're tired? Probably because you didn't follow my, my, my tips, and you were studying, you know, until 12 or 1 a.m. in the morning, so you're tired. Okay, you're tired. Now what? Okay. So make sure you finish your test. Make sure you finish the test before you lay down. Don't try to sleep. Oh, it's just a quick nap. No. All right. Be strong. Finish the test and then you go to bed. And now you're done. You're done. Okay. So make sure. Cold, bring a sweater. That's it. All right. Um, guys, we haven't talked about the test. In every test, there's easy, medium, and hard questions. Guess what? To pass, you only need probably 60% of the test, especially right now during COVID. So they're lowering down the standards. So so be the easy ones and some of the medium ones will be enough to pass. So make sure you concentrate on the easy ones and the, uh, and the medium ones. For a fourth or five on the EOC, then you need more, more questions, but you can do it. You study for it. Do not get overwhelmed with those huge and horrible questions that every exam has. Skip them during the test and go back to them at the end of the test. Mark them so you know they're missing. You don't want to spend too much time on a question that is really, really long and hard because you get frustrated. Okay? This question will bring your confidence down. And we don't want that. We don't need that during the test. You want to, you want to have your confidence strong up there. I can do this. I'm doing this. I'm passing this. That's your state of mind so always so you always do the questions that you understand and you make sure that they are correct do not rush through them guys double check for any minor or silly mistake oh two plus two four hold on let me double check yes four did i put four four got it now you know that that one is right okay do not rush through them when you solve questions that you understand, this will boost your confidence level, which is really good, and it will help you do better on the rest of the test. That's why we start by solving the ones that are easy for us. Okay? Once you're done with those, then you go back and tackle the, you know, the ones that I call the little masters. The difference is that you are confident now and your brain thinks better. Okay? If you don't understand those questions completely, guys, try to eliminate one of the answer choices. Try to eliminate something that, you know, doesn't make mistakes. And then guess between the remaining. That's what I call guesstimate. All right? That's it. Do the easy questions first. Go back to the masters. Do not leave any questions blank. No questions blanks. Okay? Uh, the SAT, there's an example of the SAT. That's the only test that it penalizes. But again, I will never leave any question blank. Never. Disclosure. These are my recommendations because of my personal experience. Either myself, guys, I'm a mechanic engineer. Two master's degrees. I've done many tests in my life. So I know about testing. So please follow them. One more thing. Do not panic. Do not panic. If you're getting stuck on a question, breathe deep at least three times and move on to annoy easy questions. Gain back your confidence. Okay? You got this. You got this. Go rock that exam. You deserve it. You have worked for it. Relax. Confident. Be positive. I have the best luck to you. You got this. Okay? Come back. All right? Come back to the channel. Subscribe. You got this. All right? Be confident in yourself. You can make this. Take care, guys.